What's going on guys, Aussie here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have the 94 overall team of the season so far card, Santi Cazola. Now this card is actually currently extinct and I did manage to snipe him for 340k. So it's one of those ones where like I thought to myself he's extinct, most likely he will be going up. So why not actually pick him up now, do the review and probably set him on later for an actual profit. Now he's got 87 pace, 97 dribbling, 91 shooting, 97 passing and 86, uh, sorry, 86 physical with 80 defending. Now for me personally, Santi, Go Santi Cazorla looking at his 5 foot 6, he's not a centre mid. He's not a CDM. Yeah, he hasn't got the most terrible defensive stats or the most terrible the physical stats, but it's one of those ones where I would much prefer him in the cam position. Now, he's got high-low work rates, and for me personally, I don't like to play cams that have high-low work rates. It's one of those ones where most of the time they replace the striker in the 4 2 3 1 formation, and the cam, the cam that was originally the cam, goes up front, then the striker goes into the cam position. That is something I don't like. Now, the four star skill moves, he actually used to have five star skill moves last year. This guy used to be five star, five star, and that was quite a surprise for me personally. But at the end of the day, they did actually de rank him to uh, the four star skill moves, which is a bit of a letdown because, especially five star skill moves, how, like, how overpowered it is, uh, how overpowered it is this year, it would have been insane. But we're just going to have to deal with like the standard scoop turn, the burber spin and stuff like that. The five star weak foot will actually allow me to cut onto the left foot and shoot and pass with it. So that's always nice to see. Now he is on a engine chem style. He is on 10 chem. People actually use this card with a hunter chem style as well. And that was something I was going to like honestly going to do. But I then looked at his agility and thought to myself, I don't need finishing that bad. If he can turn correct and I can get him in a good angles. Hopefully the ball will go into the back of the net with the 95 shot power. Now acceleration wise, pace wise, sorry. He's really insanely fast and he will be outpacing most centre backs. Shooting wise, he has got, I believe it's, no he doesn't. I thought he had the finesse shot trait, but he doesn't. He, has the, he hasn't got a finesse shot trait, outside push shot trait or even the chip shot trait. Which is a bit of a letdown to be fair. But shooting wise, he's got 94 attacking position, 87 finishing, 95 shot power, 93 long shots, 89 volleys and 99 penalties. So I don't believe he's going to need the, the traits to be fair to you. And I believe the ball is going to go into the back of the net. Passing wise, he's insane at passing. 99 vision, 99 crossing, 99 free kick actually, 99 short passing, 99 long passing, and 98 curve. You know we're in for a treat when only one of the passing stats aren't 99. Dribbling wise, he has got 90 agility and 99 balance, 96 reaction, 99 ball control, 99 dribbling and 99 composure. It's going to be very calm and composed on the ball. Take a really, really good touch. And I'm expecting this guy to be agile on the ball. Like, you know, the little twist and turns like I do with like Neymar or Messi. Now, defensive wise, if you are using this guy defending wise, probably a shadow. Probably even an anchor could do well. But for me personally, I don't believe he's a centre mid or CDM. So he's got 83 interceptions, 73 heading accuracy, 83 defensive awareness, 77 standing tackle and 71 sliding tackle. Now jumping wise, he ain't going to win a header, let's all be fair. Stamina wise is the biggest letdown about this card because if you are thinking to use him up front, 80 stamina is still not going to be enough. If you use him at cam, 80 stamina is never going to be enough. But the problem is, is that he won't be lasting throughout the whole 90 minutes and you are going to have to get a super sub for him. He has got 84 strength, which is actually, which is actually isn't too bad. For Cazorla, because I was expecting like 70 strength, but somehow he's got 84, which means he's not going to be getting shifted off the ball completely. But he has got the 99 aggression, which means winning the most 50-50s will actually go his way. Now, today I have linked him up with Asensio and Mendy. I've also got the likes of Decorve, Robert Firmino, Adama and Suzoko in the team. I will be using Cazorla today in a 4-2-3-1 to see how he plays in that cam role. But if we don't get any shooting opportunities, which I highly doubt we, we won't, I will actually play him up front in a 4-4-2. But let's get straight into these games. So the first thing we always do is just check how agile someone is on the ball. And you can already tell the 90 agility really coming into play. The little twists and turns, the little nice touches. Little turn, little twist and turns. That is beautiful. Can I get a finesse shot? Oh, that actually managed to go in. I don't know how it went in, honestly, because it was a good angle, but it wasn't the greatest shot. And somehow the keeper has not managed to save this and it actually went skyrocketing into the top bins. That's always nice to see that our first shot with Santi Gazzola has actually got into the back of the net. Now, if we talk about dribbling wise, he does feel really, really good on the ball. I love these little twists and turns and he likes to keep the ball very close to his feet. Nice, good fake shot. I'll tell you what, the gameplay right now, horrific. It's honestly horrific, but Santi Gazzola is still feeling really nice on the ball. 
Now we can literally look at this example. Look at where Santi Cazola is. I am still playing the 4 2 3 1. And he's playing in like a striker position. And this is what I mean about high low not being great for a cam. He does more twists and turns. You can see how agile he is on the ball. He's sending these defenders for a hot dog. But when it came down to finishing with that weaker foot, he unfortunately hit the near post, which is never going to be great. But I loved he I loved the way he got the angle. Nice. That is beautiful. Little pass as well. There you go. That's perfect. He actually gave me the passing option there. Oh, come on. I even tapped it. You saw how much power I put into that. And somehow that didn't go to Santi. But what a run it was from him. Go in there. Go on. Go for that standing tackle. There you go. That's what I mean. Understand if you put like a shadow or even an anchor. Yes, he's standing tackling would have actually gone up. But still, I believe it would be more of those situations where he has a wide open chance to go in for the tackle. He's gone in for the tackle, but he hasn't came out with it because it's not strong enough. The standing tackle is not good enough with the aggression as well. Little turn. Little LBY all the, way, all the way over to the top, which is always going to be nice with Kozola because that 99 long passing really coming into play. He's going to be able to do those literally every day of the week. Nice. Good passing option. Use that pace. A little facial around the corner. Great acceleration. I'm going to go for a crazy, crazy finesse shot. Unfortunately, it didn't actually come through. But one thing I am starting to see is his body type. I don't really like it. It's one of those body types where he is small, but he also looks very, very bulky. And I don't understand, like, why. Because I've watched Gazona, and I don't think he has that body type in real life, as far as I remember. Unless, obviously, I haven't watched him for a very, very long time. And somehow he's putting a bit of muscle or putting a bit of fat on. Because Kozola, his body type, I don't think I've ever seen it on anyone in this game. Little switch I play. That is a beautiful switch. Literally, that's just a holding of the X button slash square if you're on PS4. And it's a beautiful switch with the perfect amount of curve. But once again, I'm in a 4 2 3 1. You can clearly see there he's not really, yes, he's in the gap, but he's not really pushing into the gap. And that's that high low work rate, him sitting up there for absolutely no reason. He's a cam, he's meant to give me the passing option. Yes, he does sometimes, but the problem is he doesn't come close enough, and most likely it will actually get intercepted. So, Kazola, really nice, nice, really good burber spin. Little fake shot going the same way. Can I slot that straight to Robert Firmino? Robert Firmino with a beautiful turn. Can we get a finish? It's a masterclass from Kozola with the little turning abilities once again. Using that four-star skill moves with the Burber spin is always, always going to be nice. I did end up turning Puyol inside out and he plays a beautiful pass with that five-star weak foot all the way across to Robert Firmino and I actually didn't expect that pass to work because I've done that a lot of times with other players and it doesn't usually end up, you know, to the player's feet usually ends up rather to the defender or not really onto the player but Cazorla's done really well there to have an off-balance pass towards Robert Firmino all I had to do was do the drag back backwards and it's a simple shot Cazorla's made a really really good run now now he is obviously still playing cam and he has got the high low work rate so he's going to be making these kind of runs and not really giving you passing options and that's the one thing that I'm not really just I'm not really liking at the moment because he's probably made a run three or four times now or even five times in the first half so you kind of expect him rather to not give you passing options just make runs consistently and that is a thing i don't really like in that cam position i don't want my cam to be making runs yeah time to time they will do it automatically but it's one of those situations where i'd rather have them give me a passing option than run behind someone and you know have like a 50 percent chance of me actually giving them the ball Dama over to Kozola, use that pace, and that's exactly what I was going for. Very, very unfortunate to actually get out strength there because his body type makes him have a lot of contact on him, and that is something I'm never gonna like. But Kozola is actually quite strong, so he kind of, kind of, you know, can hold up to the hold up to the strength. But if it's someone that's gonna be like Virgil Van Dijk, it's never really gonna come out clutch. Where Kozola, oh, we actually swept the ball, my bad. Where Kozola actually, you know, bodies uh, Virgil Van Dijk, but but like there, he actually lost the battle to Samedo. And tomato has got strength he has, but he's not got, you know, one of those strengths where he can completely body off Kozola. And with his body type, he's always going to get into a lot of contact and probably lose a lot of 50-50s. But he did, he did like really, really well to actually uh, use his pace and go straight into the, you know, straight, straight into the space. Kozola on the ball. 
Not a great acceleration touch, and you can kind of see going into the 50th minute here, his stamina is really, really low. And yes, I do understand a lot of people are going to say you're doing a play review on him, which means you're probably forcing him the ball. But it's one of those situations where I could force Team of the Year Messi, I could force Team of the Year Mbappe the ball the whole game, and they won't get tired. They won't. They will have just less than probably 50% uh, stamina left. With Gazzola, because he's got that 80 stamina, no matter what, if I force him or not, he's still going to have really low stamina, probably going into like the 60th, 70th minute. He has got a chance here to actually score a goal. The finish shot going towards the near post. Really, really good finish, but an unexpected run. The striker came short into the cam roll. Cazorla went in behind and basically the striker brought the centre back out of position with him. Cazorla, you know, saw that space, went straight into it. With what a run, easy pass towards him from Robert Firmino and what a finish. Cazorla once again, really good tackle actually. Just going to lay the ball off there. Yeah, it's just keeping it simple because I know his stamina is very low now. So I can't really go on little dribbles with him. So you're going to have to use him as a person that's probably going to be there for a few passing options. It's a beautiful heel to heel flip. And we actually do get another assist of him. A really, really good goal. And once again, as I said, you'll have to use Cazorla because he has low stamina. You can't run with him. You can't dribble with him. You can't do all these, you know, burb spins or stuff like that. You have to keep it very simple with him now. Pass the ball to your striker. Let him pretty much do all the work. Robert Firmino did just that. Gave, you know, did the little heel to heel. Gave himself a beautiful angle. And what a finish it was. Top bins. Adama to Cazorla. Cazorla with the little facial out wave. Oh my god, I don't even know where I'm going. Half drag back. I'm actually going to hit it the same way. We are going to get a shot, and it is a beautiful finish. Now, you could argue it is kickoff. I do understand that, and that's probably why that ball actually went into the back of the net. But you can't argue against his dribbling. I honestly thought, like, uh, chain skill moves was actually going to come into play here, and I thought it was going to screw up the little, t you know, the little fake shot going straight ahead. And I thought it was going to go a bit too far ahead, and, you know, he's going to have one of those animations where it's probably going to go to Narnia. But uh, he actually ended up off balance you have to understand that off balance he ended up putting it into the back of the net and that for me is really really impressive because all over the ball that's a really good touch oh nice skip away around my player as well can i just switch the ball here all the way over to trent it's a perfect pass as well but trent did really well to win the header to be fair to him little fake shot scoop turn going the same way i can't imagine him with five star skill moves honestly it would absolutely be insane and he's made an insane run there Oh, what was that? Now, that was not intentional at all. I didn't personally do anything with my analog stick. It must have been just a glitch that happened. And apparently, he ended up flicking it into the player. We was lucky enough to get the ball back. And we was lucky enough to Santi Cazorla's short pass it to be 99. And actually see the vision to get the ball all the way to Robert Firmino. And what a pass it was and what a goal. Once again, Santi Gazzola making another run. And this is what I mean. The high-low work rate coming into play. He is going to be making a lot of runs in that, in the cam position. He, he took a bit of time. He actually got a, has he got a ball back here? He's actually ended up getting a go at that. Don't ask me how. He somehow squeezed his way through. I don't know. How, one thing I do, uh, what I'm impressed by, sorry, is how did he know the ball was going to go exactly there? That's what I'm trying to think to myself. Like, his attacking position can't be that good. Look, literally, it bounced perfect to him. I have no idea where he was going because, if anything, he goes to the edge of the box, dear, uh, box there sorry, and waits for the rebound, right? But somehow, Santi Gazzola decides he wants to go behind the striker, find a little gap, find the place where the ball is apparently perfectly going to land, and actually ended up getting a goal. So it is time to review. Four games played, four goals, three assists. I tell you what, this guy was involved, I pretty much think, in every single goal. He was just there. He was making a lot of runs. He didn't come short as often as I would like. That is something I do, I do uh, say. But... It was one of those ones where if he was finding the gaps in behind, then I was it wasn't the end of the world of him coming short. Now, five foot six wasn't an issue at all. I actually enjoy short cams, but I also enjoy bigger cams. So for me, the cam roll, as long as they're not like above six foot, I don't believe height matters in the cam roll. Now the high low work rates, mm, I prefer medium medium in the cam roll because they make runs when needed and they also come short as often as you would like. But with Cazorla, he came short very, very minimum. And there's a lot, a lot of times that he would switch with the cam. And that is something I, sorry, switch with the cam, with the striker. And that is something I absolutely despise. Because if I have Neymar up front, Neymar up front if I have Foot Birthday Saint Maximum up front, right? 
I didn't spend all those coins to put them in a cam, bro. With a 5 star, 5 star ability, they can turn either way. They can shoot either way. They could do the running scoop turns to get the angles. I don't want Santi Gazzola sitting in the cam roll, going into the striker position with his 4 star skill moves, which, you know, for me, a striker has to have 5 star skill moves if I have to, if I'm going to use them in weekend league. Uh, like, I can't create the angles that I can create with, like, Neymar Saint. So, I don't want Kazola to switch with my striker. And that's, like, the most annoying thing I did have with him. The five-star skill... Sorry, the five-star weak foot, though, allowed me to shoot with both feet. But also pass with uh, both feet. And that was something I absolutely loved. The four-star skill move, Burberspin, hands down my favorite skill move with him. Simply because he was so fast at it. He did it so, like, quick around the corner. And gave my opponent no time to react. Now... Pace wise, he is insanely fast, so that is something I'm always going to love. But his body type in game is like short but bulky. So, I usually people that do, usually people that have, you know, bulky bodies, I tend to avoid going forward because I don't want my person, my attackers to, you know, get into contact. Get into contact with like Virgil, Boateng, all those players, they're going to get bodied all day. But with defenders or midfielders, that's when I like the bulky body because I want my players to get involved. I want them to be aggressive towards the attackers, right? And Gazzola, he was going through contact so many times. It was ridiculous. And that's when he would lose the little 50-50s. There was 50-50s that he did win. That is something I can say. But uh, the majority, he did lose. Shooting wise, he is incredible shooting. He missed a, you know, one or two. And, and that's because of the eight, seven finishing, I do believe. But most of them went into the back of the net. Passing wise, unbelievable. Dribbling wise, he feels really, really good on the ball. But goes for a lot of contact with the bulky body. So be careful with that. Uh, defensive wise, he actually put in a decent standing tackle. He wasn't terrible. And I can understand if you guys want to use this guy's sentiment or CDM. But I definitely do not advise it because of the high-low work rate. He will leave a lot of gaps in behind and you will you will concede quite a few times. Stamina-wise, biggest killer about this card. He does not last throughout the whole 90 minutes and he does die near the 50, 55th or 60th. So be careful with that. Strength-wise, it's good. Honestly, it's good. But it's not, you know, it's not top tier. Aggression, he did win a lot of 50-50s. So that is something I did like. Now, I have to give him a rating out of 10. I'm going to give him, I'm going to give him a, a 7.5, uh, no, I'm going to give him a 7.8 out of 10. I don't believe he deserves to be up there with like, you know, the best, because I do believe Sayul is actually better than this card. He felt much better on the ball and everything like that. But because all I can see, I, un I can understand why you would want him in your team. But if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like, leave a comment. And for now, peace.